Yeah, Television Dude here, and I have a package in the mail. I almost started opening this because I didn't realize this was what one of the things I was waiting for. I didn't think I was getting it this soon. I thought I'd still be a few days. Uh, this should be possibly one of the coolest things I've ever owned. Uh, I've, I've not been wanting one of these for a long time. I think I just found out about it last year. But since the day I found out about it, I've been wanting one ever since. You can see it right there. It's a handheld. Epox Dracula. Sorry, I don't have it in the frame there. Look at that. Look at that box. That is amazing. <clears throat> I got a good deal on this. Well, I consider it a good deal. It might be average, but I think it's a good deal. Because the price can be all over the place. For as low as 50 as high as 80 But I got it for 50 Wow, this thing's nice. Even has the instructions. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Let's see. You are a treasure hunter seeking the treasure hidden in a coffin in Dracula's castle. But watch out. Dangers lie ahead. You must escape the wolfman, break down a wall to enter the underground labyrinth, and evade a vampire bat as you try to collect all the diamonds in Dracula's castle. Oh, sorry, that was a new, new sentence there. In Dracula's castle, there are four coffins. Choose carefully. Only one coffin contains the treasure. If you open the wrong one, you'll find Dracula inside instead of the treasure. Takes four C batteries. You can use a AC adapter. It's got to be six volts DC. I wonder if that's similar to the 2600. No, that's the wrong kind. It takes 6 volts DC, 250 slash 300 MA. I don't know what all that means. I don't know if I have one like that or not. Switch, switch to on. Let's see, select skill level. Skill level 1, the chance number of treasure hunters, you get 7. Number of wolfmen, you only get one. Number of bats, you only get one. Number of crosses, you get three. The hammer button used to break down the entrance to Dracula's Labyrinth and open the coffins in Dracula's Castle. To break down a wall section, press the hammer button four times to open a coffin. Press the hammer button once. We'll play for a few minutes, and then if I can't figure it out, we'll go back and read. Let me get a drink real quick here. <clears throat> Pretty sure they did not include batteries. Because you're not really supposed to. You know, I actually don't even own actual C batteries. I use these uh, C spacers instead and put double A's in there. I need to get more of these because I only have four of them, and if I accidentally ever lose one, I'm out. They work pretty good. They're just not as much juice as a C battery. But since they're rechargeable, that makes them great. This is how I power my 
my Tomitronic Tron, my Scramble. They are a little bit kind of weird to get in there at first sometimes. They keep bouncing out on me. I'm on there. I think we got it that time. We got it in a good view here. Yes, we do. But do I have a good view? What do we have here? Oh, boy. Oh, I already forgot what I have to do here. Let's see. Switch to on. The skill level select button is used at the beginning of a game to set the desired skill. Let's see. When the game is switched on, the skill level is automatically set to level 1. Level 1 is displayed at the top of the game display. Is it? To change the skill level, press the skill level select button until the desired skill level is shown at the top game display. There we go. I wasn't hitting it good enough. Trying to see if we're in view here. Looks kind of bright on that camera though. It doesn't look as cool as it does in person unfortunately, but probably best I could do. Uh, I'm not controlling anything. Or was I? So is there a, I hope there's not an issue with the controls. Because I gotta wait for the Wolfman to not be there. I can't go through though. Well, maybe I do gotta read the instructions here. The treasure hunter must break through Wolfman's den, escape the Wolfman, and try to break down one or more walls at the entrance to the underground labyrinth. There are three walls. Each has an upper section and a lower section. If you press the hammer button four times, the upper section is broken and disappears. If you press the hammer button four more times, the lower section is broken and disappears. Once both sections are broken, the treasure hunter may enter. Okay, maybe I didn't do it enough times. If the treasure runner breaks down all three walls during a game cycle, bonus points are scored. Ah. So I need to wait for him to... There we go. Can I go backwards? just want to test all the controls out. I don't know if backwards is an option. I can't go backwards. See, I don't know if, if it works properly, if I don't know if, the, if I can go backwards or not. So far, I can't. I can't go backwards. I just don't know if that's an, even an option.
seem to be stuck right here. Can't go forward, can't go up. Button's not doing anything. I am stuck. Huh. Don't want to break the thing. Am I stuck? What's going on here? Let's see. In the labyrinth, let's see. The treasure hunter nor the vampire bat can move through a solid vertical line. Treasure Hunter must pick all 16 diamonds in order to enter Dracula's castle. When all 16 diamonds have been collected, they will appear, they will disappear as the treasure hunter, treasure hunter moves into their space. You will hear an electronic sound and the doors to Dracula's castle will open to disappear. Let's see. Was there a diamonds? There was some diamonds there. But I can't seem to do anything. Let's turn it off and start over again. Hope I don't have to take this thing apart and try to clean the contacts because I can't seem to move backwards. I can't move backwards. But yet, I don't know if I can move backwards. Well, I'd have to move backwards to get all the diamonds. And I can't move backwards. I'm stuck. That's the deal. Why? I moved backwards that time. There must be a dirty contact. Well, I guess I'm going to have to take it apart and look at it. So, I'll be back with good or bad news. And I'm back. And I got it. I don't think the contacts didn't seem dirty to me. I'm going to try to get this at a different angle. Maybe the light won't be so bad, but it still looks the same to me. This was a pain to take apart and one of the most impossible things to put back together. I tell you. Holy cow, was this difficult to put back together. Let's see. There's also a cross in there. See the cross right there? It's uh, near the, by the bats. If you touch the cross, the bat can't harm you. And if you have a cross, you'll be blinking for a little bit. And you might be able to kill Dracula. And I guess it's a guessing game, rather. Buttons are still a little stiff. Oh, the wolf man can come in here? Well, I can't go backwards now. Oops. 
And I hate that it starts me all the way back at the beginning. Because that Wolfman is a pain. Was that Dracula? I guess that was Dracula. Jeez. They let me have that, I guess. And you can't pick a coffin that has a bat on it either. Looks like I got something there. I thought it said it'd give me a warning. If there was a a coffin with Dracula in it, and the, like give you a chance to escape. This game is not easy. There's a lot going on here. that going to get me? He could have. I thought it said it would give me a warning to escape, but maybe I was wrong about that. Oh, there he is. Wait. What's that noise? Which one of these things is supposed to be Dracula? I guess I picked wrong. Oh, maybe that's the warning. Maybe that's the warning zone. Is one of those ghosts supposed to be Dracula? Or maybe the ghost is Dracula. Hmm. Seems to be waiting for me over there. The wolf man won't move. I don't like this wolf man. I was almost through. Uh, the gameplay itself isn't quite as good as Tron or Scramble that I have. But it's still awesome. The box is awesome. The handheld looks awesome. Look at that Wolfman. He just hangs out there. He doesn't give you much of a chance. Maybe that was Dracula? 
Now the ticking's gone. Pretty much used the same sprite for the ghost or the bat as the new Dracula. Oh, the back got me? Oh, the back got me. Well, that's a good look at that thing. I don't want to play any gun right now, but that's pretty cool. I'll, I'll sh uh, I'm not going to bring them out, but I'll show you my other ones. Uh, you might not be able to see them, but uh, second shelf down is the Tron and the Scramble. The, the top, the, what's on top of the bookcase doesn't count. <laughs> Then you got the Burger Time shelf at the top shelf. Then you got the Tron and the Scramble with the IntelliVoice sticking out there. I can actually zoom in, but it'll probably look blurry. Uh, not, not as blurry as I thought. There's my Tron and Scramble. That actually could look a lot worse than it does. <laughs> but actually, it might look worse on a blown up video. I'm looking at it through a small screen. So this doesn't really match with the Tron and Scramble, but hey, whatever. I'm going to take a look at the box again. I, I didn't really show you the full box all the way through. Turn this off. Yeah, this was one pain in the butt thing to put it back together. I didn't think I was going to get it put back together. I was doubting myself. It was that difficult. It really was that difficult to put back together. The game of mystery, intrigue, and challenge. Challenge is right. It was they paid nineteen ninety seven cents at Best Special Catalog Number Self Service. Uh, there's no like name on it though. I was trying to get a look. There's multiple stickers, but I don't want to take them off though. I think that that adds to it. That always gets me why people want to take the stickers off these things. That gives it uh, some character. You know, that's uh, that's that's nostalgia. Where they bought it from originally. I find that more interesting than just the box itself. But so many people want to take those off there. Joystick control, automatic digital scoring. Epox Dracula, big multi-color fluorescent display, mysterious electronic sound effects, vampire bats, Wolfman, and Dracula himself, which I'm confused on Dracula. Uh, Ever-changing maze of sliding walls, tunnels, and secret chambers. Now, I'm not 100% sure that was Dracula, but I killed something. There was a ticking sound. I don't know. Uh... Automatic digital scoring, four diff different uh, diff skills of play, skill levels of play, action, control to break walls and open coffins, large joystick directional control lever. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. So glad I bought this part for my collection. There is actually another uh, horror handheld like this. And uh, I think it's called Vampire. And that, that, that'll be next. If I ever can find one. It's kind of rare. So uh, that was pretty awesome. So uh, that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching.